Oh, hey there. Today, we're gonna go check out Tampa's number one rated suburb. And this city was just ranked the number four hottest real estate market in the United States. You wanna know what it is? Let's go check it out. All right, y'all, so we are just wrapping up coffee here at the Blind Tiger, and I don't want to keep you waiting around any longer. And oh, if I've never introduced you before, this is the lovely and talented, the missed most amazing, my better half, Kate Alcala. Can you say hello to everyone? Hi, guys. Welcome, y'all. We are very excited to have you. But the Blind Tiger, so we just wrapped up coffee here. Where are we? You want to know what the top you know, suburb is in Tampa, and you want to know what that top real estate market is in Tampa as well. Well, we are in West Chase, and right now we're in West Chase Plaza, which is a very cool little area. We're going to talk about that in a second. But I wanted to share that with you because, you know, obviously Tampa has been red hot in terms of real estate, and it's a great place to live. But the, one of the very first questions we always get is, you know, what is the best area to live? And while I can't tell you what the best area is for you, unless we have a conversation and talk about what type of lifestyle you like to live, um, this is ranked one of the absolute best places to live in all of Tampa. Um, you can go to niche.com. I always keep the link down below. And that's a great place for you to go and do research. But, you know, it's got top rated schools and the real estate's been incredible. So much so that Zillow just ranked it number four in the entire United States. Um, you know, it's a great place to raise a family, according to niche.com. Um, and just beautiful area to come check out. And in West Chase Plaza, where we're at today, I think is pretty unique. Um, would you agree? Because yeah. uh, the way it's set up, you know, you've got this beautiful shopping area and we have everything you need down here, by the way. I've, we've we walked the entire plaza to check this out, but you've got luxury apartments on top of all of this, which I think is great. And as, it, as you go down the neighborhood here, slash work slash live slash play all the things here right you can shop um, there's botox here there was a optometrist a chiropractor um, a, uh, a dentist around the corner there uh, an investment firm as well you've got a uh, protein monkey you know because you're going to do yoga and then you're going to go check out protein monkey, monkey. Yep. why would you do that um, Woof, which is a, a, a place for dogs to go get groomed, which is great. But, you know, as you walk through the neighborhood um, and come to the end down there, it bookends to townhomes. So you go from apartments to townhomes all the way over to single family homes. And, you know, this area is really, really unique. And we're starting to see more and more developments pop up just like this. So. You know, obviously you can see the kids got out of school, they're hanging out downtown, you've got the parents hanging out um, at Irish 31, and then the, the luxury apartments on top. So I think it's a really cool place, and we're gonna explore this today. We're gonna go check out what it is that West Chase has to offer. We're gonna go check out um, some of the parks, we're gonna check out some of the uh, uh, local attractions, so to speak, and I'm gonna take you to see some real estate today yeah. as well, so you can kind of wrap your mind around that. And you know, so let's talk about that market a little bit, right? So West Chase is, you know, ranked in the top five real estate markets in the entire country according to Zillow and right now the average the median price point in West Chase is going to be 553 as of today that's going to get you a three bedroom two bath in the area you know it's not going to be the, the top end but it's going to be right there in the middle of the entire uh, real estate community so it's a really nice uh, spot to come check out and you know again we're down in Village Plaza right across the street we got catch 23 which is a really cool place to come grab dinner um, right now we're walking past uh, you know the Irish pub um, which is also a good spot we're gonna keep walking through here so you guys can check it out but you know we're midday there's people all over the place it's a really nice place to come check out have a bite to eat hang with the family hang out with friends you know just really enjoy it and another thing that we really thought that was cool here is you know you got the parks that run right down the center of this community which is awesome yeah. but the parks in the community the public parks I think were really cool hiking trails biking trails manicured hiking trails they go through a covered canopy of old growth trees which i thought was awesome and they've done a really good job of keeping the entire community connected even so much as uh, one of the parks we're going to visit today has an underground tunnel um, you know underneath lindenbaum avenue which is one of the the thoroughfares here the main the main drag and it goes right underneath there so if you live in the neighborhood behind you can literally get to the park without crossing the street which i I think it's really cool. Most people don't have access to something like that. So I'm very excited.
right, so what I wanted to do is show you guys a little bit of real estate as well here and what you should expect for that median price point of that 553 like we discussed. And we're gonna uh, check out this property that we're coming up on right here, which is, uh, you know, this is a three bedroom, two full bath, 1500 square foot listed at right at 549.9 um, and I'll put some photos to the property here so you can check out the insides as well but this is a great example of what you should expect you know in West Chase at, at that price point point. and um, this home is literally walking distance to Bay Bridge Park which we're going to show you guys um, beautiful park and man it's got some really cool amenities but what I love is just the overall feel of these neighborhoods they are very communal um, you know it feels like a place where you feel good you know you want to go out you want to run you want to bike you want to hike you want to do all those things you have all access to all these trails and like we talked about before you know West Chase has access to the upper Tampa trail which can take you all the way down to the bay and you can go to the park down there and check out the beaches too but this is a really nice spot the neighborhood's nice you know from my view it's clean these you know they take good care of it and West Chase is a very desirable area you know people are coming here for a reason and it's got access to you know again Tampa downtown you got access to the Gulf beaches and you know these areas were established you got Lockheed Martin that um, showed up you know it's within five miles of this uh, neighborhood here so if you you know you're working in defense contracting and, and you have access to that it's right there but you know just a really cool area I wanted to show you some real estate now let's go check out some others all right so one of the parks I wanted to visit today which uh, is one of the better well recognized parks here in West Chase is Bay Ridge Park uh, as you can see and it's wonderful you got a walking running and a biking trail here you know you got the playscape covered gazebo there are several covered gazebos back over here along with a great area that is super flat where you bring the kids out throw the football around play soccer um, you know whatever it is that tickles your fancy and um, you know one of the things that's really unique about this park is it is very well covered and it also connects directly to the neighborhoods across the street um, most of the surrounding community here is gated um, there are some areas that aren't but this park uh, is is open to the public so and it's very well covered you know the one thing about Florida y'all if you know anything is it gets hot here and it gets real hot so you don't have the ability to uh, get in a shaded area it's gonna be a tough time and you're not gonna be able to take advantage um, of amenities like this I love this right so you know it's mid-afternoon here and you've got all kinds of people running around enjoying themselves and there's so many hiking trails and biking trails and so much outdoor living to take advantage of here in West Chase. And I absolutely love that. You know, obviously having access to take the family down and play is great. But what about if you're not? What if you don't have a family or you like to exercise? Well, on the other side of this park here, you've got all these exercise, outdoor exercise tools as well, which is really cool. So it's something you can take advantage of if you just want to get out, hit the trails, do some walking, do some running, whatever it is, or get some lifts in. You know, you can do that too. So really cool area. I really, you know, I'm always trying to show you guys what's going on. What is it? feel like to live in an area right you can look up all the stats and see the houses online you don't need us to do that but checking out what it actually feels like to live in an area you know if you're considering that relocation that's what I'm here to help you guys do so now I want to check out some more shopping because we've got a great town center um, it's got some wonderful restaurants I'm gonna show you guys that next All right, so now we're at West Chase Plaza, which is another great shopping center you've got down here. And it's it's anchored by a few really cool restaurants and bars. You've also got a, uh, the Blend Coffee Shop right here. You've got Tampa Pizza directly behind us. Two fitness centers. You've got both uh, Anytime Fitness and uh, F45, which is directly behind me as well. Uh, you got Burger 21. Um, again, the, the grind down at the corner. It's a really, really nice spot. And one of the things that, you know, I found really cool about West Chase is there's this whole vibe of like, come live outside, come be communal, come hang out with your entire community. And, um, you know, it, it's, it makes you feel right at home. So I can understand why this, you know, it tends to lean really high on all these, these sites and all of these, uh, these lists that keep popping up about the best areas to live. So yeah, I mean, come check it out for yourself, man, because this thing has been very impressive today. It's definitely worth the visit.
All right, y'all. Well, I hope you enjoyed exploring West Chase as much as I did today. I had a great time running around with you guys and, of course, with Kate. You know, there was so much that we covered, but there was so much we weren't able to get to. If you have any questions in regards to the city, please feel free to put a comment below. I'd be more than happy to answer that for you. Uh, we didn't talk about West Chase Soccer Club, which is a very highly rated soccer club. So if that's important to you or if you got little ones that are in soccer, it's a great place to go do it. You know, we talked a little bit about the real estate. We talked a little bit about what the city had to offer. It rained quite a bit today, so we weren't able to really get deep. Um, so I will swing around and do a second um, video of West Chasing, just get a little bit more granular, but it was awesome to explore. And it's very obvious why West Chase is you know, ranked as one of the highest suburbs in Tampa. So if you've got any questions, please feel free to put that comment below. Also, if you're considering making a move, relocating or investing in the Tampa Bay area, just know that my team here at the True Living Group has got your back. Until next time, as always, go out and live that Tampa life.